Here's the occipital bone, this dark green bone, it's the posterior uh, part of the skull. Here it is, and within that dark green bone we see a great big opening, or foramen. That great big foramen is called the foramen magnum, a very large uh, opening or hole. On either side we can see some knuckle-like projections, those are the occipital condyle. Um, there is a suture that uh, separates, or joins rather, the occipital bone to the parietal bones. And that suture is the lambdoidal suture. It reminded an early anatomist of the Greek letter lambda, and so it was named lambdoidal suture. Now let's find those characteristics on this natural skull. Here is the occipital bone. I'm outlining it right here. Here is the foramen magnum. Here are the occipital condyles. This is, these are the smooth spaces or surfaces that articulate with the first vert vertebra or the atlas. Um, we have also the lambdoidal suture. Here's the lambdoidal suture. You can see that pretty distinctively on this skull. So this is a parietal bone, this is a parietal bone, and here we have the occipital bone. These are the nuchal lines. These are the lines for muscle attachment. You can see the bone is actually enlarged because those muscles have been pulling on it. And here's another one. Those are the nuchal lines. We have the occipital condyle. We have two of them on either side of the foramen magnum. And if we look, actually it would be anterior to the occipital condyle. We'll find a little canal. I've got the probe in it. That is the hypoglossal canal right there. And of course, there would be one over here also. Hypoglossal canal.